Hi, my name is Dr. Danielle Harry. I'm the Chief of Surgical Oncology at Harvard UCLA Medical Center. The case today is a 37-year-old male with a history of right upper quadrant pain following fatty meals. He had presented to the ED multiple times in the course of a year with biliary colic, but was not offered cholecystectomy at that time. He presented to our clinic and was offered laparoscopic cholecystectomy. He had a BMI of 45. Upon inspection during the case, you will notice that he had a very thickened gallbladder, packed with stones, likely evidence of chronic cholecystitis, which we will likely find on final pathology. That also made the case technically more challenging. Before we begin, we're just going to mark off a few landmarks and how we decide to plan our port placement. As you can see, this gentleman has a BMI of 45 and central obesity, which is typical for males. First, I like to do is just kind of estimate if I had to make a subcostal or convert to open, uh, where I would do that. So his xiphoid is here. You see the midline at the bottom of his rib here. So about two finger rest below the subcostal, right subcostal margin. I kind of just mark out. Again, where we may have to open. Uh, now, no, if the patient is a lot of compliance, when we insufflate, uh, this may drop down, and the actual uh, line of the port placement might be a little higher on the uh, patient, but you don't want to do this after you've insufflated because it distorts.